Oh, children. Oh, children. The 4th of July facts video for kids, for dogs, for cats, for adults, for hedgehogs, for pigeons, for anyone or anything else that gets their patriotic jollies from watching a homeschool pop video. Oh, man. We're so glad to have you. We're so glad to have you. Welcome to the fun. We're going to be looking at some fun facts. The 4th of July is the birthday of the United States of America. It's the day we celebrate when the United States of America was born. And just like any other birthday you would celebrate, it's full of fun traditions and it's always a great time. Hey, I mean, like this kid. Birthdays are a blast. I mean, there's a Minecraft guy in the corner. I mean, you can't ask for any more. I mean, the cake looks delicious. The food is great. You're around family. The 4th of July is incredible, just like a birthday. And like this birth... Oh, okay. Not Travis's first birthday picture. Who did this to me? <laughs> Alright, just like his birthday. His first birthday was so special, okay? <laughs> The 4th of July is really special, too. Who did this to me? <laughs> How did you get this picture of Travis? <laughs> We're recording a video here. Okay, back on track. Oh, deep breathing. <clears throat> okay. Alright, we're back on track. The point is, like other birthdays, the 4th of July is filled with fun traditions and deep meaning, just like Billy's birthday and the other birthday, too. We don't want to go there. Okay, moving on. Okay, so let's start here. Did you know the 4th of July is also called Independence Day? It was the day when the American colonies declared independence from Great Britain. That is, they said, we want to be our very own country now. On July 4, 1776, the Continental Congress came together and they said, these American colonies, these 13 colonies, are going to be a brand new nation. And it became official and the American colonies became the United States of America. Since then, Independence Day has always been a very special time of celebration. In fact, right from the start, it was such a special celebration. Oh, you should have seen the first 4th of July celebration when the United States of America turned one year old. On July 4th, 1777, a year after the Declaration of Independence, there were parades, speeches, and special dinners to celebrate the first birthday of the United States of America. And you know what else? They used fireworks to celebrate on that first July 4th, the first birthday of the United States of America, 1777. They used fireworks. Hey. Do you watch fireworks on the 4th of July? It's pretty cool. They did it that first year, and we still do it today. I bet you didn't know that way back in 1777, at the very first anniversary of Independence Day, that they used fireworks. I know. So every year, the 4th of July was celebrated all over the country, much in the same way as we celebrate it today. Then, finally, in 1870, the 4th of July became a federal holiday. I mean, it took long enough. I mean, that was almost at the 100-year anniversary of that first signing of the Declaration of Independence. It took almost 100 years for it to be a federal holiday. I mean, it's only the birthday of the United States of America. <laughs> you know, I mean, no big deal, right? It's a huge deal, okay? Anyway. 1870, they finally made it a federal holiday. Because, yeah, everyone's birthday is important. And that includes the United States of America. Remember how we said that the 4th of July is also called Independence Day? Well, it could also be called the Hot Dog Day. 
No, really. I mean, it's insane. Americans eat about 155 million hot dogs on the 4th of July. There are more hot dogs eaten in America on the 4th of July than any other day of the year. Tons and tons of hot dogs. You know, hot dogs aren't the only thing we love on the 4th of July. We also love to travel. And we're not talking about walking, okay? People love to travel by car. Uh, why? What's up with this old car? Nobody drives in cars like that. <laughs> no, no, let's let's put up a real car, not a car from like the early 1900s. Let's go with a real, a real car that somebody would travel in for the Fourth of July. Okay, what's what's a car people would use? No, 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 no. That's. <sighs> That's a toy car. I'm pretty sure that's a toy car. We're trying to share with the kids that almost 38 million Americans make car trips for the 4th of July. It's one of the biggest travel days of the year. It's huge. Almost 38 million Americans make a car trip. And this is this is a toy car, okay? Okay, th this is a toy car too. Okay, this is... This is a toy car. It's just a different colored toy car. We're trying to show the kids that almost 38 million Americans make car trips for the 4th of July. And this is, this is a toy. Okay. Can we, can we show a real car here? Okay. Oh, I see. Jokesers. Jokes. <laughs> I think it makes it funny. Huh? You know what? We made a 4th of July jokes video. This is the facts video. But you know what? We're just going to bring the facts anyway. N nothing's going to stop this, okay? Almost 38 million Americans make car trips for the 4th of July each year. How crazy is that? Wow. Woo. A lot of people. All right, let's move on. And that doesn't even count the people who travel by plane. Wow. Just wow. Are are we calling this the toy fact video? Okay. <laughs> A toy plane. All right. Over 3 million Americans travel by plane for the 4th of July. It's a huge travel day with those traveling in the car, those traveling in the plane. But the question is, why do so many people love to travel for the 4th of July? You see, the 4th of July isn't just special because it's the birthday of the United States of America, even though that's really cool, and that's what it is. It is a birthday celebration for the United States of America. Maybe the biggest fact you can take away from this video is the 4th of July is our story. Yeah. It's not about the fireworks and the hot dogs and the weird guy on the stilts and an eagle that doesn't really have that much hair. The 4th of July really is our story. Maybe why so many of us travel is because we want to be near those that we love, that we care about deeply, family and friends, because we understand that with the 4th of July, we're celebrating the rights and the freedoms that we get to enjoy every single day. And we can look back to July 4th, 1776, and be so thankful for all the rights and privileges that we are given as Americans. And that's why we love the 4th of July. <laughs>